Hey guys, Two-Ton Hasher here. So it's been a while. Um, I haven't made a video in several months, or at least two months anyway. Um, I kind of wanted to do a follow-up on my mining boxes, uh, the boxes I made to hold my miners. I have gotten thousands of comments, and I really appreciate that, that guys. Um, my video seems to inspired a lot of people to make mining boxes like I did or, you know, kind of follow up on what I did and improve because uh, you can definitely make improvements to what I did. Um, but I just want to do a follow up because I have gotten tons and tons of comments about, uh, well, both from gamers who want me to my house to burn down, which is hilarious. <laughs> um, but I've also gotten tons of comments from other miners out there who had the same issue as I did, who had you know, more than several rigs inside their house, and life became quite miserable uh, with all the heat being generated from all the miners. So I appreciate, I really appreciate all the, the good comments I've gotten uh, from people who have been inspired by what I've done, and uh, I just kind of want to do a follow-up because I've had lots of questions, especially concerning humidity. Jeez, I'm shaking the camera here. Um, so I live in South Florida, um, and it might get loud out here, so I'll try and speak up. So I live in South Florida, and right now, it is a very cloudy day, it looks like it's gonna rain. This is what it looks like every afternoon in Florida. Tons of humidity, and it is, if you can see the thermometer, the thermometer outside now, and it is about 97, 98 degrees. Fahrenheit here in South Florida and it's a uh, what time is it? it's about 5 30 in the afternoon looks like it's gonna rain and this is Celsius about 35 degrees Celsius so it's pretty hot even on a cloudy stormy day with lots of humidity so in my YouTube comments I mean I've gotten hundreds dude your GPUs are gonna be destroyed by humidity and uh, and so forth the rain and all this good stuff um, the rain does not hit my computers so they do not hit my miners at all um, I live this is a back porch raindrops have come close they've come in through the screen and it's you know coming to about you know a couple of feet from the box but you know my mining boxes don't get wet um, what other comments oh your boxes are made of wood uh, it's a house fire. I mean, it's a, a, a fire hazard. Yeah, maybe so. Um, but as you can see, no house fires. Everything's still intact. Same cables that I'm using as I was before. These mining boxes have been out here for three months now. And they keep my rigs nice and cool. And they are not inside my house, making my life miserable. So, and as you can see, I'll show you the same. It's got the same rigs that I had three months ago. There they are. Same rigs. And inside the box, I've got a thermometer in each box. Let's see if I can get a picture here. There you go. And it's about the same temperature as it is outside. But the airflow coming through the filters and over the cards keeps the cards nice and cool. And I'll show you the temperatures once we're inside. I took a G I took a GPU out of this one to make another rig. I did change the filters from last time. Uh, last time I had the white filters. My first video, I had the white filters. And those white filters clogged up pretty quick like. Um, and it restricted airflow quite a bit. I got these kind of filters, these strand type filters, um, which give you way better airflow. Great airflow coming over my video cards. 
up and out the top. Here's another one, it's the same rigs as I had three months ago. Nothing's changed. Still a mess inside here. Here's another shot of the thermometer. Same fans as before. These are the these are the fans that I bought at Lowe's. You can get them at Home Depot too. Uh, it's, just, it's just a different brand. Nothing special. These are 24 inch fans. I've got them on low speed, and that sucks. That has just enough air movement to to move the air over the GPUs through the filters, just fine. Now this box. I'm still using the white ear filters because I can't find. Oops. Thought I paused the video there. I can't find this type of video in this size air filter. So I'm still using the white ones for this. And these are the seven card rigs. These are still the same rigs that I had three months ago in the same video. I just find it hilarious that people make, make comments. Um, about how my GPUs are going to get destroyed by humidity. And I don't know. that I'm not saying they're wrong, but, you know, after three months of being out here, I have, I see no sign of any uh, degradation in my video card. They're still hashing the same. Nothing's changed. They run good. They're nice and clean. There's no dust. And I have never cleaned these video cards in the last three months. Since I made the first video, I have not cleaned anything. If I shut these rigs off and show you, there's not an ounce of dust, there's not a bit of dust anywhere. It's because of these air filters. So, anyhow, just wanted to do an update on that. Um, I had a lot of questions about which of my three boxes I like the best. Um, as far as cooling, this one is the best. This rig here is three foot square. It's a three foot by three foot box. This rig keeps... Uh, I'm sorry, this box keeps my rigs nice and cool. This was a $40, like a $45 fan. The rest is just made out of two by fours and plywood. Just a square three foot block, uh, three foot box. This one keeps it, the, my rigs the coolest. <laughs> I'll show you the temps inside. Um, these rigs run at about 64 to 65 degrees Celsius in 100 degree heat. This one. There's plenty of room inside, but I made the door too small, and um, it's kind of a bitch to get inside and do anything to the rigs if they go down or whatever, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, I get power outages here with, with the storms, so that's really the only time I have to get inside is to get in there and power them on sometimes. This one is the best. If I had to pick one, this is my favorite. Make a whole side of door. Like this whole side opens up. I can get in there and do anything I want. Plenty of room. This is a four foot square box. This is probably my favorite. Even though it doesn't keep the cards as, the, as cool as this little box. This one keeps them the coolest. This is my favorite because I can get in there and work. So if anybody wants to copy my design, do something like that to where you can get in there and have plenty of room. This uses the same fan. I'm trying to think of what other questions. Oh, this is a four foot by four foot by four foot square box. Nothing elaborate. Make your frame a little bit smaller, cut your plywood, your 4x8 sheets plywood in half. It's really simple. 
and then cut the holes for the filters. Nothing crazy. So yeah, guys. Trying to think of what else. Uh, trying to answer any other comments I had. Um, most of them have been about the humidity. Um, you know, does the humidity affect my cards in any way? And the answer is no, that I've seen. I have not seen any degradation or any problems with my GPUs at all. I think the, the fact that they're constantly putting off dry heat from the GPUs themselves, that it keeps the humidity at bay. I, I don't see any problems whatsoever. Now, we haven't had a hurricane come through or anything like that. Now, that would, might be a different story, but you know, our normal afternoon rain showers that we always get in Florida uh, don't affect my miners at all. So I just wanted to answer that question because I've been asked it, asked that very question, God, more than a hundred times. So I just wanted to share that. And we'll go inside and I'll prove to you again Outside, it's, uh, you know, 90, 96, actually temperature's coming down now because it looks like it's getting ready to rain. It's about 96, 95 degrees, something like that. We'll go inside and look at the temperatures on the computer. I've got one other small rig inside. So yeah. So I'm taking this on my phone here. Let's see if I can hold it steady enough for you guys to see this. So as you can see, I'm mining Ubic. Been mining Ubic for a little over a month now. So I am going to go to let's see here. These are my rigs. So as you can see, here are the temperatures. These are the rigs that are sitting outside. It's almost 100 degrees outside. And that rig, GPU 1 is 66 degrees. 63 degrees, 63 degrees, 64 degrees, 60, there's one at 60, there's one at 62. So you guys can see that. So I've gotten a lot of hate about those boxes, you know, the fact that humidity in Florida might destroy my cards and stuff, but man, I, and I understand where everybody's coming from, but I just don't see any problems whatsoever. And the temperatures that those boxes keep those rigs at is totally worth it. So let's see, I'll go to rig three, There's another one. 64 degrees, 65 degrees, 63 degrees, 62 degrees, 61, 61. I mean, as you can see, these things are running nice and cool <clears throat> with that amount of air running over the cards. So it doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees outside, as long as you've got good air flow and dissipating the heat, getting rid of the heat from the, from the GPUs, you're golden. So that's it, guys. Um, leave your comments. Uh, I'll be happy to discuss. Have a good one.